Another fire, everyone's determined to go on fire today. Christ, a lot of oil in here. <laughs> so we're on a bail spike repair today. The most common problem with these machines are the nut on the main tine is not kept tight. It wears the tine out and the bushing. I replaced the bushing on one side of this not that long ago, but as you see, the nut wasn't kept tight. So we're definitely gonna have to change both tines today and one bushing. Let's get stuck in. Fire. No. We're gonna have to the stand off. Oh, we can put him either way. We need a handy turn back this way. No, you can't turn him this way because of the chrome on the ram. Yeah. Are you ready? Yeah. Stuck in the bracket here. Oh. Two of us are stuck in the bracket. Oh, that's a that's a forklift job. All right, go on. Right, hold on. Then, hold on, 
Another fire, everything's determined to go on a fire today. Christ, a lot of oil in here. <coughs> right! I think we have it. On here, are you helping too? Ain't you? How high Please, you've enough of them tips, right? Thank you. You're very good. See that one? I just had to grind down the cap on the end of it because any sharp edges can rip the plastic. Righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, Tom. Hey, come on, get up here. Down or up? Down. Down. Push it down there. That one could be tight enough. There's more in it, is there? No, I'll show me if you want. Yeah. And how about Don't hit yourself in the head now. I saw you.
As long as I watch your dog. Go on, you're not related, now. She's not related. Don't be afraid of it. You're not related, Tom. She's starting to tighten now, is it? She starts Martin. singing yet. Yeah. Oh, there about, say, yeah. Well, you give her a hold, you want to turn up for it. We know what we're about now. Hey. Oh, Jesus, that's good and tight there, Tom. Give her one more. You better actually go at it again yeah. in the month's time. Yeah. Well, she won't. It's the mistake. That's the mistake a lot of farmers make. They don't tighten them. Every lad makes. Yeah. You're the only lad got caught a couple of times. And then the pain of having to pay for the second thing. Ah, yeah. remind you to tighten it, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what she told me in the manual. That's it. That's you. Tight enough. Yeah. Up. Lovely job. Okay. Great job. Now stand by. Loaded up and ready to roll. And the pipe spinning as they should. These brackets back on to hold the pipe in position. And the cap free welded on here. And ground down. Spinning as well. New bushing on that side. Two new pins. Right, job done. Old parts in the trailer here. Robbie, you happy with that job? The fist of kids looking on it. The principle of it there. You have these pipes slip onto the spike. These are the original spikes. Right. Simple bolt. You open that bolt. You can slide these off. And then you're left with the two spikes for picking bales up with the spike. But then you slip on these sleeves and they're designed to rotate like this. And that means then you can stack bales with the plastic on them without damaging them. I've seen that before. That's the idea. Yeah, well, it'd be relatively new. But uh, yeah, so... She was in a poor state of repairs, but she is now refit for service, repurposed, ready for action. Right, and it outlast the uh, owner, I suppose. Well, the owner did guarantee, he's after getting the pacemaker fit, so he did guarantee me he'd be gone before this thing was, so he could be right. And that's the truth. Yeah, but we never know, we never know. Anyway, that is it. Job done. Another, hopefully, satisfied customer. I'm satisfied to have another machine out of the yard, anyway. But that is it for today's video. Thanks for watching. We'll oh, see you right. next time. Keep it country. <laughs> oh, Noe, what are you saying?